Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening for all that has joined us on this Wednesday night, 7 o'clock Bible study. we just so honored and grateful that you joined in, that we uh, share the Word of God, and uh, that we can, like, uh, eat the Word of God up, and then we can regurgitate it, and uh, we could be used for His glory. Uh, let us have a word of prayer before we go into our study this evening. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, how we love you, O oh God, how we adore you, how we magnify you, O oh God. Lord, we love you because you loved us first. Uh, Lord, uh, we finding out that <laughs> we just want to keep falling in love with you, O oh Lord, because you are love, O oh God, and we thank you. We thank you, Lord, because you thought about us before we were thinking about ourselves. And so, Lord, we ask in, in the name of Jesus, Lord, that... We just be prepared, prepare ourselves as we examine ourselves, Lord, that we ask, Lord, that whatever we have missed the mark in this day, that, Lord, we be forget we thank you for your forgiveness in advance, O oh God, and, Lord, that we'll be ready to hear your word, Lord, that we may have insight, O oh God, that we may uh, uh, learn from your word and that we can then tell a dying world about you, Lord, that we won't be guilty of leaving you out of your story. So, Lord, we ask you to bless this teaching today, this evening, Lord God, that the people may be strengthened, Lord, that they may be excited and encouraged and on fire for you. We thank you for what you're going to do. Anything that's not of you, that's in me, oh God, rebuke it right now. Plead the blood of Jesus right now, that your word can go forth. For in Christ's matchless name we do pray, thank God, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. I hope you all doing well today. One of them hot days again. that will make you want to come out your skin and be so hot. So uh, let's see what the Lord has for us tonight on this uh, Wednesday, uh, the 15th of July. Uh, uh, if, you, if you allow me to, uh, I'd like to entitle this teaching, uh, The Tree in the Midst. Or you can say the middle. The Tree, the tree in the Midst. Okay. Uh, in the book of Proverbs, uh, the wise king informed us uh, that wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, uh, get wisdom. Uh, the wise king tells us to, to get wisdom because it's the principal thing. And with all thy getting, get an understanding, Proverbs 4 and 7. And tonight, I'm praying that uh, we can get insight uh, to what the Lord wants to show us about the tree. Uh, 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 there are 36 plus trees mentioned in the Bible. Uh, for example, the fig tree, uh, the olive tree, the pine, pine tree, uh, the green bay is mentioned in the Bible. And there's others. Uh, uh, next to God and people, the tree are mentioned in the Bible more than any other living thing. Amen. Check it out, Chubb. Check, check it out yourself. Check it out yourself. Uh, all the major characters in the Bible uh, had a tree associated with it. Okay? Uh, let's take Noah. Noah uh, with the olive branch. Uh, Father Abraham, he was chilling under an oak tree. Uh, you know the story of Moses, of course. He was talking to that bush that was burning, but never consumed. Uh, 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 then Joseph, the first prince of Egypt, uh, he just actually called the tree. Uh, look at Genesis 49 and 22. Okay? Uh, uh, his, his character is described, described as a tree. Okay? Read that, read that, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. The New Testament talks about trees uh, in Matthew uh, 7, uh, 17 through 20. Uh, you can look at Luke 19, uh, verses 1 through 4. Uh, see uh, Luke 22, verse 39. And, and the reason why I'm not going through all these verses, there's so many verses in uh, uh, I gotta be mindful of the time, but you you can go back and check this out because you want to spend time in the word. So 
uh, uh, that way you'll be a sharp sword cutting both ways as it cuts you uh, uh, and heal you and mend you. Then when you bring it back out in contemporary language, then you can help someone else along the way. So uh, uh, here's another scripture. Look at, uh, and this is familiar one. I have to talk about this one a little bit. Uh, John 15, 1 and 2, which talks about that Jesus said he's the true vine. Okay? Uh, the New Testament talks about trees, y'all. And then Romans 11, 16 to 21. That's symbolic of a tree. Look at that when you get a chance. Um, uh, so, and then there's more. Okay? Then there's more. Hey, uh, our Lord was described as a tender plant slash tree. Isaiah 53 and 2. Okay? Uh, how he was going to grow up. You know? Uh, 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 <laughs> we're talking about the tree in the midst, y'all. Uh, uh, stay with me, stay with me. Galatians 3 and 13 tells us that Jesus died on a tree so that we would not have to. Oh, praise God. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. The, the, Paul tells us, uh, associating the, the, a main character, the main, main character from Genesis to Revelation, this is the main character, uh, that, that uh, he was crucified on a tree, right? Uh, uh, you also, uh, Paul tells us the fact that the one that's, uh, uh, crucified a tree, and he, he, he bears the curse for us, y'all. Oh, that's good news. You should be shouting right about that. He, that he cares so much for you that he gave himself for us, an ultimate sacrifice, y'all. Okay? Uh, uh, so he was crucified on a tree. I'm talking about the tree in the midst, y'all. Uh, trees like our Lord gives a pose to take it. Oh, let me stay here for a minute. Uh, 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 Trees, they give, okay, just like our Lord. Well, let's start our Lord, because I can sum that up real quick. And, and then when I talk about the tree, you can see that uh, all is relevant to our Lord. The Lord gave his life. <laughs> yeah, he gave his life, y'all. He gave his precious blood, okay? He gave his precious blood. He gave his lifeline. See, the tree uh, our Lord in the tree, we're going to see, uh, it's the, he, they the same, um, um, that he gave his precious blood, y'all. Even before he went to the cross. Even before he went to the tree. Okay? He gave. And check this out. I told you it was a comparison, right? Uh, um, the tree and the Lord both give the poles to take him. Uh, the Lord gave his precious blood. And let's look at the tree and we can see the Lord all up in the tree, right? Some believe that spirits... Reverend Broadway live in trees. Yeah, yeah. Trees are the oldest living organism on the planet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 trees came. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting ahead of myself. So the tree. The tree gives life. Hello? Uh, we, 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 oh my God. We came and, and enjoy. Just do like this. Just suck it in and out. The tree gives life. Uh, uh, the tree gives beauty. It gives beauty. The trees are beautiful to look at. It gives us something to look at with our physical eyes. The trees gives us shelter. Ooh, ooh, sound like Jesus to me. The tree gives us food. Amen. It gives us food, y'all. This is the tree. We talk about the tree in the midst. Uh, the tree, y'all, watch this, compared to Jesus, gives us protection. Mm, mm hmm tree gives us protection. Yeah, I'll throw this one in there. The tree even gives us a playground, if you like climbing trees. I used to like climbing trees. You know what I mean? Like climbing trees. The tree also gives us shade. They clean the air and they hinder or hold back erosion, y'all. Okay? That's a tree. huh? The tree and Jesus are uh, like the same because they both give. Again, I say to you that some believe that the spirits and truth. You know, I'm, 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 I'm I'll share something. I'll share something with y'all. Uh, uh, my youngest daughter said that that uh, 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 that when she dies, she wants to be buried with a tree on top of. It. And I could never understand that. Until the Lord gave me to study, and I realized that some believe spirits are in trees. Y'all better hear what I'm talking about here. We talking about ancient wisdom, y'all. Okay, 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 so she was going to something, okay? Uh, uh, okay, so trees give, they hinder erosion. And look, 
Here on, Mary seen Christ Jesus as a gardener at the tomb uh, versus uh, seen as a gardener as in, in the garden where the tomb was that he was the true gardener. He, she couldn't recognize him. She thought he was the gardener relative to Adam when he was the gardener. Hmm. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, when God is God, is, we talking about the tree in the middle, we're talking about insight, y'all. We're talking about insight. That we, I never understood this, these things about a tree. And then, and then uh, uh, our Lord was hung on a dogwood tree. The, with, uh, 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 the tree that our Lord was, was hung on was a dogwood tree. Um, uh, uh, it's said that because of the role it played, the, it, the tree played um, in the crucifixion, that God both cursed and blessed the dogwood tree. Ooh, Lord Jesus, I'm talking about the tree, y'all in the midst. Watch this now. Okay, so this evening, I want to share him as the tree in the midst of the garden. Amen. Okay, tonight I want to share him as him as the tree in the midst of the garden. So when we go to the third day of God's creation, uh, we find on the third day that, uh, let's just go there so we can see. Let's go to, let's flip to the scripture. Let's flip to the scripture so the word can do the work. I want the word to do the work. Go to Genesis chapter 1, y'all. Gen Genesis chapter 1. And in Genesis chapter 1, uh, let's go to verse number 10. Let's go to verse number 10. And let's read that. It says, And God called the dry land earth, and gathered together of the waters called he seas. And God saw that it was good. Verse 11 says, And God said, we, we serve a talking God, y'all. Uh, uh, we serve a God that speaks, y'all. Let the earth bring forth grass, the herbs yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Okay? Whose seed is in itself amongst the earth, it was so. Y'all see that? Verse 12 said, And the earth brought forth grass and herb, yielding seed after his kind, and the tree yielding fruit, whose seed was in itself after his kind, and God saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were the third day. That's day three, y'all. God supplies on the earth. God gave provision Right at day three, uh, 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 before the animals came in day number six, on the sixth day, uh, uh, came earth creatures, animals and man, huh? Animal and man, right? But here it is, God on the third day putting provisions or provision because the earth came from the firmament out of the water. Uh, uh, you remember earlier in the, cha in, in the verse cha in the chapter that God's Spirit hovered over the water. God's Spirit, y'all. Some will tell you the Holy Spirit didn't come to the day of Pentecost. Or Aunt, you can find it right in the beginning of the book. Uh, 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 he hovered over the water and the land came out of the water. Okay? And, and, and when the land came out of the water, God then had yielding fruit that yield fruit of itself. Yeah, the apple tree had apples and not oranges. The orange tree had oranges, not apples. Uh, 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 came out of the ground. So God has supplied. And I guess I need to read that part. Um, uh, the, the, on this third day, I'm going to show you in, in, another, in another verse. But he provided before there was living creatures on the earth. Uh, earth creatures on the earth. But the trees and the grass... And the urge was here first. Ooh, Lord Jesus, the first living thing. Hey, y'all, you can find some 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 trees uh, 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 as old as four thousand years plus, five thousand years. Uh, it's depending on where you get your information from. They say they have the oldest tree and they present it. But I found one even uh, that these pine trees 
uh, they are 10,000 years old. Who the Lord talking about old? Talking about some wisdom. Hey, those trees were back in Noah's day and beyond. That would be 5,001. Anyway, I can't do that, man. But nevertheless, those trees are old. Trees are old. And God gave them a ring for every year because, oh, I'm getting ahead of myself, because God, I'm getting ahead of myself, uh, 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 made supply or provisions on the third day. Now, again, the sixth day, man came, but let's go back to the third, the, the third day. Now, I'm going to show you something. Go to Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2, uh, verse number uh, 9, this is what it says. Um, uh, the God uh, had two trees with fruit, y'all, and it was called by name. Here it is, Genesis chapter 2, verse 9. Out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree. Now, let's stop right there because it came out of the ground. That means... Uh, it was a process. I used to look at this scripture like it was already there. That in a tree, he just, boom, it was there. But it was a process. It came out of the earth. Ooh, Lord Jesus. Oh, yeah, yeah. It, uh, it, uh, 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 it came out of the ground uh, to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight. Remember, we talking about beauty, y'all. The tree gives beauty and good for food. That is, provides uh, uh, the tree of life. That's one tree. Also in the midst, and also the tree of knowledge, of good and evil. Now, let's pause right there. Let's pause right there. I told you we're talking about the, the tree in the midst. And tonight, I want to show you him as the tree in the midst of the garden. I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm getting excited. Okay? All right? So, uh, God provides source provision on day number three. Okay? And I get all the way down to verse number 10. Oh, let me go a little further. Good and evil. And then verse 10 said of chapter 2, And a river went out of Eden. Remember, this was the place that God prepared. This was, this was all going on uh, with the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil that's in the midst of the garden. Uh, uh, this is Eden. Uh, uh, man was created in the wilderness and then placed in Eden. Look, but it was a source. That's water, y'all. Uh, the garden and from... Thence it would part into basically four heads. So it, 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 uh, uh, the four rivers, you go on a little further, it tells you. And, and those, those rivers, that water uh, is still landmarked on <laughs> letting us know the Bible is true, y'all. Uh, you just can't make these stories up because I'm showing you that the tree in the middle, from, uh, that he in the middle, uh, in the garden, and, and showing you Genesis, showing you Jesus from uh, uh, Genesis to Revelation. Okay? All right? All right? So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So just stay with me. Stay with me because uh, I, I got excited here. Now, let's go to the New Testament. Uh, let's look at Mark. We're talking about the tree in the mist. And we're talking about showing you him as the tree in the mist. Here we go. Watch this, y'all. Uh, uh, let's go to the New Testament. We'll find that these men had uh, taken this man. Uh, and brought him to Jesus. Uh, let's just turn to Mark, Mark number, Mark chapter eight. Let's go to Mark chapter eight. I hope you're getting something out of this. You're gonna get something out of it in a minute. You're gonna get some insight. Get some insight. Watch this. Uh, eight and twenty-two. Okay. Turn on pages. Turn on pages. Hey y'all, look. The Bible is a part of the tree. Ah, uh, y'all missed that. Y'all missed that. Y'all y'all feeling the tree right there. Y'all touching the tree right there. That paper came from the tree, y'all. Oh, y'all missed that. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. So, chapter 8, verse 22. Let's start there. It says uh, about um, uh, Jesus uh, saying unto them, follow me. So I'm not in Mark yet. I'm in Matthew. Okay, here I go. I'm glad this is Bible study. But I can turn my pages. I don't have to rush. Okay, okay, 22. Okay, here we go. So here's a story of Mark 8 and 22, all right, uh, to 26. So you see there that they uh, Jesus made a trip there, and look, they brought a blind man onto him, and they begged, the people begged Jesus to touch him. So they must have knew about Jesus and his healing hand and 
Uh, but Jesus this time did a different way of healing a blind man. It said that he took the blind man first by the hand and he led him outside. Uh, I'm paraphrasing another town, y'all. Okay? And then look what he did. This was rude, especially in this time that we live in Corona. He spit in the guy out. Okay? But some will tell you that they believe that spit was a part of a healing thing there. But the scripture says he spit in his eye and then he uh, put his hands on him. And then he asked the man, what you see? You see anything? And look what he says, y'all. We're talking about the tree in the mist. He said, uh, 24, and he looked up and said, I see men as trees Walking. Okay, 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 okay. Let me read the rest of it. After that, he put his hands uh, again upon his eyes and made him look up. And he was restored and saw every man clearly. 26 says, and he sent him away to his house saying, neither go into the town nor tell it to any one in the town. Don't, don't, don't tell what happened here. Here it is. He first spit his eye, right? And then he touched him and asked him what he said. He said he see men as trees, y'all. Okay? So that's telling me that that touch was insight. That was a spiritual touch. The man was physically blind, but he was also spiritually blind. So what he seen is how God see men. Ooh, Lord Jesus. He see us as trees, y'all. Oh, what about that tree? He said when a man meditate day and night, he would be as a tree planted by the rivers of water. He got source. He got source around the Broadway. Now, guys, he, he had insight now. He's now had a spiritual awakening. And see, this is what we have to do with the Word of God, y'all, is we uh, digest the Word of God, and, and, and it shows us us, and mirror. we look in the mirror and see how falling short we are compared to the, the God we serve, the Jesus we serve, our Master and Lord and Savior. Uh, 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 we get touch by the word. We get spiritual insight. Okay? Uh, uh, now after this lesson, we're going to see the tree in the midst of a garden. He gave him insight. He took, check this out, y'all. Trees don't walk. Now, unless you're looking at some scary movie or something like that there, you know, but their roots will come and walk, you know, but, uh, 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 and you know, we've seen a movie where the eyes open on trees and stuff like that, because I told you earlier, some believe that spirits dwell in trees. Trees, okay? So, trees don't walk. So, basically, when he had insight, he was seeing the characteristic of men. The men he seen with the first touch, he seen trees standing. Well, a tree was standing dead or alive. Ooh, Lord Jesus. A tree was standing not bearing no fruit. And if those that are walking this planet have not accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, they look like a dead tree. Lord help. And it's our job to wake them up. We don't know. Bottom line is, we just present the word. But he's seen dead trees. He also seen trees that needed to be pruned, that was bearing fruit. But yet, to bear more fruit, God has the gardener, the, 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 the farmer has to prune them. You'll find that in, uh, in, in, uh, in John 15. Uh, uh, he talked about in the, the true vine. He told me, God, get, get pruned. It hurts. Just think about somebody cutting on you. It will hurt the tree. Okay, because the tree is a living uh, organism, y'all. Okay? Yeah. And, and look, I'm throw this one in too. Hey, I believe rocks are living too because the rocks are a part of the earth that the tree and them came out. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay? Uh, 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 so he has spiritual insight. He's seen men as saved and he's seen men as unsaved. Amen. Okay? He's seen men as trees. So he's seen them dead standing and he's seen them alive standing. That's us, y'all. That's people. That's people. You either a living tree or you a dead tree. Amen. I'm going to start looking at people like trees, y'all. I'm looking at the trees, y'all. Okay? Are well, you bearing any fruit for the Lord? Ooh-wee. Okay? And then he touched him a second time. And he asked him to look. And then now he gets his physical sight. Okay? He gets his physical sight. So, so let's move on from there. Uh, uh, so, he gets his physical sight. So, again, when we minister to people, we try to encourage people, we got to touch their spirit, the spirit that's in the soul. And then we touch them uh, through our giving through our communication with them, uh, 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 then you can touch the physical things. But we got to get people up from the inside. Ooh, Lord Jesus. 
Okay? We got to get them up for this. It is our charge. We look for Jesus to do it. Jesus done done all he's going to do. He hung on the tree, y'all, that we didn't have to hang. All we got to do now is tell his story and not leave him out of the story. I'm trying to show you insight, the tree in the midst of the garden. So that was New, chap uh, New Testament on insight and the, how the man seen, how the man, the blind man seen men as trees and then he seen them as men. Okay? All right? We had insight, spiritual insight. All right? We're almost done, church. We're almost done. Uh, those two trees in the midst of the garden. I went all the way back to Genesis, y'all. Okay? Those two trees in the garden uh, is symbolic of life choices. Amen. Amen. Uh, here it is, y'all. You have the bread. You have the living tree, the tree of life. That's he in the midst of the garden, y'all. And then you also had uh, the, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And the choice was made to choose of the tree of good and evil. Now, the Lord blessed them and said, all the trees you can get your grub on except for the tree of knowledge. Okay? Because when you do that, you want to surely, you want to surely die. Okay? Let's go back to Genesis. Let's go back to Genesis. We're almost done. We're almost done. Okay? Uh, uh, so the trees are, uh, the two trees in the garden is symbolic of life choices. Are you going to choose life? Or are you going to choose knowledge of good and evil? See, see, in this world, uh, uh, the more knowledge you have and all that, you, you big time, you shot calling, you, you, you all that with, with all this knowledge for the world. But when you start bringing uh, 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 knowledge, because you chose the, the tree of life, uh, 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 what goes on for you now will be forevermore. Amen. 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 Uh, 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 um, uh, so let's look, let's look, look, so we can have life or we can have knowledge of good and evil. Choose you this day, okay? What, what, what tree will you eat from, okay? Uh, uh, check this out, church. I want to show you him as the tree in the mist. So, see, uh, the first family... They violated the first order, okay? And in so doing this, okay, they missed life. Amen. Amen. Because they chose to have the knowledge of good and evil. Uh, 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 um, okay? Uh, so they missed life. Um, the tree of life was Christ Jesus. Uh, God provided our need for life has sustained us uh, 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 from the beginning. Before the sixth day, before he fashioned man in the wilderness and breathed uh, uh, life into his nostril, and he became a living soul, and he placed him in the garden to till the garden and stuff, uh, 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 he gave him provision of the trees that would provide for him. Amen. Amen. And right there in the midst of the garden, there was Jesus. Right there as the tree of life. Hey, y'all, you also will find him uh, uh, in Revelation. Okay? Uh, because, let me go back to the garden first. Uh, for what they did, they chose the knowledge. The cherubims was then dispatched to the east of the garden. The tree of life was in the middle of the garden, y'all. And, 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 and the cherubims was dispatched to the garden and the flaming sword to keep the way of the tree of life. You can find that in Genesis chapter 3, verse 23 and 24. Let's just read that. Let's just read that. Because it's about 25 after. I can read that. I can read that. Okay? Because I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm Baptist. I'm closed for a time. I'm just joking. Okay. Uh, uh, 23. 23. Here it is. It says, Therefore... The Lord God, okay, uh, the Lord God uh, sent forth, um, sent him forth from the garden. He was evicted. He got kicked out. He didn't pay his rent, okay? He, he, he violated the first ordinance, okay, that he should not eat of that tree, but he made a choice. So he was evicted from Eden, right? And he had to, still he had to till the ground from which he was taken, the ground that he was made from, he had to steal to it, but he had to do it a different way. So he was drove out, uh, he drove out the man, this is the guy driving out Adam, and he placed, look, at the east 
of the Garden of Eden, cherubim, cherubims, it's angels, okay? They on guard. And the flaming sword which turned every way, north, south, east, and west. You're not getting to the tree of life because Adam Eve, if you eat of the tree, after you eat of the tree of good and evil, because uh, every tree has good and evil, even a live tree has good and evil, right? Right? Because the dead tree couldn't have good and evil because the dead tree is dead. It's dead. Um, 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 but here it is that he sent angels and the sword to guard every which way um, to keep the way of the tree. Like if he would have ate of that tree after he ate of the tree of good and evil, we would have been stuck in this state of sin. Amen. We would have been stuck like Chuck. There would have been no way to get out. Okay? So, so God, had to, God had to guard the tree of life. I told you if you're going to show up in the garden, y'all, he was right there in the beginning. That, that he couldn't eat of him. But God is so patient. He had a master plan. And then he came in on earth. We seen him on earth touching that man, giving him insight. And then giving him back his, 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 uh, uh, his, his, his physical sight. Because he was in the midst of the garden. And God always provides right up front before he, 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 he sends us anywhere. He already sent provision before us, oh, Lord Jesus, to help us along the way. Uh, 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 Reverend Broadway, as long as you have the charge you have, he has sent provision before you. Amen. Amen. And some might not like it, but bottom line is every man or woman that knows and believes that he is our Lord and Savior, he's our King of Kings, uh, 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 uh. Hey, he sent provision, and then here's the last verse, here's the last verse, Revelation 22 and 2. We find out that from Genesis to Revelation, the tree of life shows up in heaven. But not only shows up in heaven, it shows up and, and is on both sides of the lake. And I scratch my head, and I still, it still hasn't come to me. I asked the Lord, why two trees? Okay, why two trees uh, 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 going uh, on both sides of the source? Uh, uh, when you find that out, let me know. But he hasn't told me yet, but it said, Revelation 22 and 2 said, In the midst of the street of it, I'm talking about uh, uh, in heaven, y'all, uh, and on either side of the river, okay, was there the tree of life, which bare 12 manners of fruit. That tree doing it, y'all. Uh, uh, 12 manners of fruit, y'all, uh, uh, and yield her fruit. Every month, every month, these 12 fruits, uh, uh, man of the fruit was, was, was coming. Look, y'all, because he's still providing even him. What a guy we serve. And mm -hmm. the leaves of the tree was for the healing of a nation. Amen. Amen. Because I tell y'all, we're going to need some healing after coming through this world that we live in, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but this pandemic is starting to get on my nerves, y'all. But I thank God for it because it's given us time that we can get down on our knees. Amen. That we can spend time with our families and really get to grow in Christ together if we choose to. And, uh, uh, because I'm telling y'all, uh, the world is divided. The church is divided. Uh, you have those that are heavenly bound or earthly good. Then you have those that just want to make friends with the world. I tell y'all, the ones that know him in the part of the sin, that truly believe in him, that know he's coming back to, from the east, y'all, and we're going to have a private party up in the sky. Hey, know this. We, the church, belongs to us. We are the church, not the building, but we are the church. So anything going on in the building that's not of God, we ought to be praying against that. All right? We ought to be fighting that. We ought to be loving on that because love is the weapon of our warfare. God bless you, Pilgrim Rest, and all that joint. And I pray that you can see him in the midst of the garden. God provides from the beginning. He did it on day three before he brought uh, uh, living uh, uh, animals and mankind on the earth. God bless you, and may God keep you. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, Lord, we thank you for insight. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your provision and your protection and your shield, oh God. We thank you, Lord, for the food you provide for us to eat, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because you're God. We thank you, oh Lord, that you had us in mind, even on the other side of the flood, Lord, when you, when you, when you created the earth, oh God, when you had earth people in mind that they didn't even know they was going to be, oh God, that you pulled them out of the ground and blew life into them, oh God, that he may live, Lord, and then he seen all that he had to do, but you provided it all for him, oh God, and he blew it. But we thank God that you 
gave your only begotten son that you loved us. And just like Adam chose wrong in the garden and chose to have knowledge of good and evil instead of uh, uh, the tree of life to live forever uh, on this earth, O oh God, we thank you that this earth now is not our home, but you gave us provision in Christ Jesus, the same tree of life that was in the garden from the beginning, O oh God. He'll meet us again in Revelation, O oh God, but he'll come back first, O oh God, on this, uh, not touching down for us, the church, but we're going to have a private party in the sky. So we thank you, O oh God. We love you and we adore you, O oh God. Now have your way. Now have your way. In Christ Jesus' name we do pray. Thank God and amen.